Hey class, today we are going to talk about the Illustrator Lighthouse assignment. The objective is to create a lighthouse using prior knowledge of previous activities in Adobe Illustrator. The difference between this one and other assignments is your drawing is going to be submitted to the school's Lighthouse Committee and they will vote on, out of all my classes, the best lighthouse design that's going to be used for one of the programs and brochures and invitations for the lighthouse ceremony. This is an example of one from 2009. You'll get to put your name at the bottom right of it. It'll be used across the board. Here's another one. See, they all look different. They have the year and the name. And this is the lighthouse committee. So it's a committee of about 12 teachers and principals. Here's another one. These are pretty good logos. Uh, here's some more that have been previously used that are winners. To get started, your creation must include the following criteria. It must be 600 by 700 pixels, the width is 600, the 700 height. It must include a lighthouse. Try to include scenery such as it's not restricted to, but these are options. A beach, a sun, a moon, depending on day or night. An ocean, a sky, cloud, stars, a landscape, or anything else. Just be creative. The rules are you must use Adobe Illustrator. Don't use the live trace on photos this time. But here are some examples that are really good. Now you can use some of the brush strokes, open and closed objects. But when you're done, you're going to save it as 1A or 2A, depending on what class you're in underscore last name first initial underscore lighthouse and turn it in the dim drop box 70 percent of the grade will be on completion which includes the lighthouse and scenery 15 percent will be illustrator skills detailed drawing of lighthouse coloring illustrator tools obviously used as shapes you can use a 3d effect that we learned last time another 15 percent of the grade is originality and effort put into the assignment Trust me, I know your skill level, so I'll be able to tell. And artistic talent. It's really easy to pass as long as you do that, but to get a little bit higher, you're gonna have to try a little harder. Now, the directions say, I'm not gonna go through the whole assignment, but I'll show you a few things to get started. Open up Adobe Illustrator, and you're gonna create a new document. Command N, and name it Lighthouse. And the directions say, the width must be 600, the height 700 and make it pixels I make it that width and height for a reason so it'll fit in the invitations and brochures the best way make it the same size as previous ones that is why it's that size so make sure that you make your artboard according to the directions click OK now just create a whole scenery I might show you a trick for drawing the lighthouse I have uh, a pen tool and I got one stroke Let's do a straight line here and then go down and go out a little to the right and create a curve. You can adjust that a little bit if you need to, like I might not make that as long. To make it a 3D lighthouse, you just go Effect, 3D, Revolve, click Preview, and you can change the fill color, make it whatever color you want. Left edge, I don't like the right edge. Keep it at left edge and then click OK. Now if you want to change the colors, you can change it to a maroon so it kind of goes with Mesquite High School. You can change the stroke. To a gradient or solid color. Give it a second to render. You can also create the top, the part that does the light. Now you could do a rectangle, post it there, and then maybe do a little top part. Let me just show you. This is just me playing around. Go up, up a little bit, and I'm going to hit forward slash, get rid of the fill, change that to a solid black, and let me see what this looks like. Effect, 3D, Revolve, Show. leave it on left edge and you can angle it the way you want it and click OK I don't like black I'm gonna keep it at a maroon and 
you just move it on top of the lighthouse. Now you can adjust the size. Make it not as tall. And then you can draw more lights. You can put words on it, draw a sun, a star, a moon, some scenery, some trees, some flowers. You could go into symbols. Open up a symbol library and choose some flowers or nature. Throw some grass in there. Throw some trees. Draw your own trees. I encourage it. Make them as big or small as you want. Make a nice, beautiful sky. Make it inspirational. That's typically what the committee picks. It goes by how well it's drawn, how inspirational it is. Will it make a good logo? Look at previous examples that I posted that have won on eLearn. Like, I really like this sky, and I like the, the sun rays. I like this one. It's very simple, simple colors. I like the uh, edge the water hitting the land. I like the clouds here. I like the gradual horizon of the sky, the waves, the water, the grass, a dirt path. So there's all kinds of options. There's even a little fence here. I like this little tree, greenery growing around the lighthouse. This was made with the 3D tool, so you might see if you could try to make something like that as well. It's even got 3D bars. I have to be honest, this one's my favorite all time ever. Make it your own. Use some of what I've taught you. Good luck on winning the contest. But that is the lighthouse assignment. Just make sure that when you're done, name it correctly and turn it in the dim drop box. And that is the lighthouse assignment. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.